Am I zoomed out? No. No, no. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you here is a little quick footage video that I shot here about trying to recreate a candle for the UCO candle lantern. And uh, wow, it has some very interesting results. The process that I used to make the candle, well, it, it worked fine. But I decided to use some jute twine. Very thin, very thin jute twine. But I got a very puzzling result even though the wax is burning properly everything's working great there's some type of alien thing growing on the top of the wick itself the jute twine wick and it's weird I don't think anybody's ever shown this on YouTube I don't think anybody knows about this stuff here on YouTube and I can't explain it. So let's find out what's going on here. Let me show you the video. By the way, this is the roll of jute twine I'm talking about. And there's the thin, thin string that I'm talking about there. There's no label on it. There's something that Ranger Cookie gave me. And I'm beginning to wonder, is there some type of polyester material or something that's not natural inside this twine causing this to happen? It's got to be. I don't know where it came from. Walmart, Dollar Store, Dollar General. I don't know. But something's definitely happening. Here's the video once again. Bit of heat. Pull her out. Hey, folks. Got a little scrambled over in the background there. See, you That's got cause... soup and I got some little crackers. You got some soup and little crackers there. Look at that. Ain't that something? Let me, let me pause them just for a minute there. Sorry about that, brother. Little miniature shout out. Let's get over here to what we were talking about. Now, this right here is a candle that I recreated, um, melted down, and took an actual cotton ball, twisted the cotton ball up to make the wick. Now, this thing here is burning kind of irregularly. And see how the flame just goes all over the place? Well, I've got the fans going here. I've got a fan going up there, exhaust, a fan right here that blows, well, not directly on me. But anyway, it's creating a lot of circulation here. And that window right there is open. There's a car going by. Is it that unique? Uh, creating a lot of draft. So this flame pattern is all over the place. And you can see right there that this candle is not burning perfectly. Ugh. But anyway, it works. But it's not perfect. Now here's the UCO ladder right here. This is, let me turn around. Very carefully because I let this thing build up for a period of about two hours. This is the original candle lantern. Now this right here is the UCO. This is the very first candle that I made for it, a repurposed candle. And that wick is actually jute twine. Now I know this is working because I've been looking at the sight gauge right there. See how that little, where's my finger at? That little lever right there is up above. It was down here when I first started to notice it was actually down to here when I first put the candle in. But check out this. Look at that big bulb at the end of the wick. I mean, it's like... And, 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 and the, the camera's actually making it too bright. It, it's like a big knot at the end of the wick. This is a very thin jute twine. And it keeps building and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it does, it diffuses the, the light just a bit. It's interesting. The candle wax is actually burning. The wick is working. But what is this build up at the end of the wick? I can't zoom in. I can't. Maybe I can't. It looks like a meteorite. It's huge. I've never seen this before in any type of YouTube video. But, well, what I did is um, I use a pill bottle. Let me show you the pill bottle here. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the name and logo here, but it's just a standard pill bottle. And this pill bottle actually fits inside the shaft of the UCO lantern. So by taking candle wax and a jute, piece of jute twine, weighed it down, was able to use this as a mold, and once it cooled down, everything solidified, dip this whole thing back in hot water again to release the wax or the candle at this point 
and it came out perfect but during the burning process using that particular wax which I have no idea what it is you know it's just an old candle that we melted down repurposed but that's jute twine not this is not uh, a cotton uh, wick at all and it's got this weird asteroid looking build up on the end of the wick that is not being suspended by anything but that fragile wick this is interesting I have no idea why it's doing that it's the first time for me playing around with uh, trying to repurpose old candles and trying to make something that works with the UCO instead of buying the and hey I'm not knocking their product at all y'all I really ain't their candle wax is specially formulated uh, to burn perfectly inside their own lantern but if anybody who owns one of these you know as well as I know those candles are expensive and if we can sit there and make our own repurpose some candles hey by all means let's do it and that reminds me by the way there's a video I want you to check out Jiu Jitsu 2000 he makes his own candles and he shows you how to make his candles for the UCO this lantern actually came from him he sent me one of the candles that he made himself and uh, I don't know where it's at <laughs> I don't know so I decided to do my own but check out that bow man what is that this thing's been burning for about I'm gonna say two hours and it looks like I don't know man that stuff is gnarly it's just like a big zit on the end of a hair it's crazy and the, and the flame is really 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 diffused so is the jute twine actually got something in it well I don't know it's a very thin strain of jute twine and it comes in a bundle you know and it was something that uh, a ranger cookie actually gave to me but hey jute twine does burn very good as a wick because it's still going I mean this thing is really wicking away but some type of residue or something is building up to the tip of the wick now at the top of the UCO and I don't know if I can show this or not let me zoom out All right. ah, hold on folks real life video here ah uh, you can't really see it that well but there's no soot build up at the very top of the lantern and that's good news and this candle right here made with cotton a cotton wick out of a cotton ball works very well too however it's not burning as uniform as I'd like to but anyway that's why testing is always important before we get out there in the sticks and go like is that is that one of them tree knots inside my wick there inside the candle I don't, I don't understand that it's diffusing my light I can't see and you end up stepping on, stepping on a snake or something, you know, you, you never know. But anyway, not knocking the UCO uh, candle lantern here because everybody loves this. We just want cheaper, we really want super cheap fuel. So we keep playing around and testing this, that, and the other. But in the video from Jujitsu 2000, you will see a cotton wick, and he claims that the cotton wick, or the cotton twine, actual twine, works very well with the waxes he mixes hmm there you go all right little update we blew the candle out and uh, I say we that's me and uh, Wee Wee's grandkids and you can't see it here on the camera I'm try to zoom in you can't see it here uh, we blew the original booger out and uh, touched it with my finger and it felt like carbon residue like a lot of carbon buildup on the end of that jute twine now we lit it and this has been burning for the past 30 minutes or so so let me blow this out and try this and trying to get everything here caught on camera let me see here. hold on just a second okay now it's out you can see we got some more buildup I don't know if this is a jute twine, the wax we're using, or what's going on here. This is weird. I mean, really, really weird. Makes no sense whatsoever. So let me set the uh, camera here on the uh, 
camera stand. I want to show you show you what we discovered here. All right. I hope there's enough lighting here to do this. Let me reach over the camera here. Here's the UCO candle lantern, and you can see hopefully in the background the new booger that has grown. We took this out earlier. This is jute twine, like I said. Repurposed candle wax. We're gonna unscrew the base here. Be very careful. All right. What I want to show you is the crunchability, the what appears to be carbon buildup just on the end of the wick itself. Now, the video that I've got linked in the description box below for Jujitsu 2000, he uses a cotton type of fiber. Um, he says it works perfectly. I decided to use this so-called jute twine. And I'm starting to have a question. The jute twine is a natural fiber, correct? Yeah. But there's something going on in this process, and I don't know what it is. So what I wanted to show you right quick before I ended the video is what I discovered on the first time I pulled this off. It has a very, very carbonized texture, and it breaks apart and crumples into nothing, and it's like soot that is built up upon the end of the wick. There's a little piece of it left there. But, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know what's causing this. I don't know. This is a case where I truly am, for the first time in a long time here on YouTube, an actual amateur. I'm learning, and I don't know what this is. So if you happen to know what this happened, what may be causing it, I don't know. Just shoot me some stuff. Give me an idea. Let me congregate. Uh, try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> it's weird. It really is. Next test will be just like Jujitsu 2000. It's going to be totally 100% cotton. But I'm going to try to find some more jute twine that on the label it says is 100% jute twine nothing else in between just to find out if this technique works the candle wax of course burns perfectly I mean it's almost used up so this has been about I'm going to say roughly three hours worth of burning now I know that the original candles from UCO supposed to burn for like 12 14 hours or whatever the case may be yeah well this is homemade stuff and we're testing it out you're going to see a lot more videos here with me testing this out with homemade candles. Until next time, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Language and you and y'all's a very happy YouTube experience out there. And remember this, when you're playing with candles and you got that stuff, remember, don't touch your nose.